views expressed on this program are those of the hosts, guests, and callers, and are not necessarily those of this station, its management, or other advertisers. You're listening to Transformation Talk Radio. This show's audio was via a Skype call. The Jen Royster Show, intuitive guidance to inspire your life, is an inspirational hour that will take you on an epic metaphysical journey to discover the spiritual approach to life's greatest challenges. Dr. Jen Royster is an internationally known intuitive counselor, spiritual teacher, and energy healer. Imagine having the ability to use your innate positive energy to dissolve the stuckness in your life, whether it's emotional, physical, or spiritual, through this incredible dynamic show. Get ready to be transformed from Dr. Jen's live guidance guided healing meditations and intuitive readings and unveil the power of connecting to spirit, the angels, and your higher self. Dr. Jen is passionate about helping you find the answers you're looking for through an inward journey that will strengthen your connection to spirit and help you trust your intuition. Now, here's your host, Dr. Jen Royster. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the show. As soon as we went live, I'm not sure if you're seeing that on your end. Uh, Carter, but we do have a little bit of a problem with the stream. So I'm, there we go. I'm trying to fix that here. Anyway, it always is interesting when you're trying to do things like this, but I'm going to keep going. We got backup recordings going and we're going to put this out. I have a lot of energy flowing today. And every time I have that going on, I always see something weird happening. So here we are. What we're doing today is we're working with the third chakra and how that's really important for manifesting. Also, Archangel Uriel has come in twice this week with a lot of information, insights, and really nudging. I double-checked, validated that, and absolutely it's happening. So I found that really, really interesting, and I just wanted to share what I've been picking up because I'm applying it to my own life and then I'm applying it to um, everything that I'm trying to create and just the whole thing. So please know that if you're having a little trouble with the audio or the everything, we're going to have it later. I'm not sure what's going on. I'm seeing some red flags over here, but I'm doing my best. Um, Third chakra is what? Third chakra is all about, it's it's about your self-esteem. It's about, do you have confidence in yourself? It's about everything. Um, One of the things with the third chakra is self-esteem. The other is your confidence and your personality. Uh, It also has to do with your beliefs and opinions. It has to do with, are you trying to control a situation? Are you trying to manipulate? Are you trying to do anything strange like that? You know, when you feel like you've just got to have control, if you are trying to be a perfectionist, if you are stressing out and you want it, you know, you're worried it won't work out. All these kinds of things um, are third chakra. Uriel, Archangel Uriel was coming in with that. And I found that really interesting because, whoa, Uriel. Because I first, my thoughts were Michael, call on Archangel Michael. And Michael is wonderful for fears, insecurities, negative energy clearing. But he brought along his buddy, Archangel uh, Uriel. U-R-I-E-L is what I'm pronouncing. And I just was like, okay. So what do you have here? What are we doing? And this is about if you want to raise your frequency, if you want to manifest your life living in a more of a fifth dimension vibrational frequency, uh, which is going to be a lot better than this third dimension loaded with fear, anxiety, you know, all of that. I mean, that's just feeling like a cinder block to me lately, a lot more than before. You have a lot of opportunity here 
if you identify if the third chakra is causing you some hiccups here. Now, third chakra will physically affect digestive systems and just it's really are you processing? And I had a few things come through with that. So that's the topic today. I have two email here, two emails from the email bag I want to read. And I'm going to read those first. Usually I don't read those first, but I want to read those first. Uh, we have one that's a really a beautiful gratitude message. And another one is a question. And the show is right in line with the question as well. So I just said, well, let's start this. And if you have a question, if you feel like you're experiencing something, if you want to call in and share it, please do 1-800-930-2819. We have our video streams. They seem to be working fine now. <laughs> it might be a little bit of delay here and there. We have it on YouTube, my YouTube channel at Jen Royster. That's also at my website, jenroyster.com. You can see that on the talk show page, J-E-N-N-R-O-Y-S-T-E-R.com. We also are live streaming the video feed on Facebook Live, and that's over on the Transformation Radio, TransformationTalkRadio.com page over on Facebook. And I've shared it on my two pages, The Jen Royster Show and Dr. Jen Royster. There you go. So we have it a little bit everywhere. So we had a little bit of a weird delay or something going on. It looks like everybody's happy with the technology now. So I'm glad we had that resolved. And that's just the way it works. I asked for a little help and we got it, didn't we? You know, Michael's really good, by the way, with technical stuff. If you have anything with electronics, you're trying to fix something mechanical. I always ask him if I'm having any problems with something, which, you know, happens in life. Um, he'll either give me an insight or an idea to try and he'll just help me out. So thank you for that, which I did ask. So let me read the first one, which is a beautiful gratitude message. And I appreciate this coming from a listener. Uh, this is me from Megan. And Megan writes, hello, Dr. Jen. It's Megan from Vegas. Hello to you, Megan. I wanted to thank you for sending us the focus for today's call. She's talking about today's call. Um I'm smiling as I read it because I was going to ask you if you received any guidance from the angels in regards to manifesting. Well, yes, I did. And I love that she caught that. And apparently you did. Uh, I feel my angels have been promoting me more and more the past few weeks to really pay attention to what I want to bring into my life. Grateful to be in sync with the divine timing of all that is unfolding for us. Thank you for all that you share. Blessings to you and your family, Megan. Megan, thank you so much for that message. Things like that just keep us going because we work really hard when we do things like this all of the all the people that have the shows here, uh, all of us that are out there trying to give you something positive and uplift you, inspire you, motivate you to stay in the game. Don't quit now because this is the turning point. We moved into March energy, so there's a really interesting thing with that right now. Uriel came in. It's like, you know, the third chakra needs a bit of a tune-up. Wake it up. Balance it. So I'll go over the third chakra. For those that don't know what a third chakra is, that's all about, um, that's the third one at the solar plexus. Solar plexus, like right where, you know, you kind of feel like your gut, you know, like if you grab and cross your hands across your chest, you know, it's right there at the solar plexus. Uh, it's the energy transformer that processes a lot of things about our assertiveness. Are we giving our power away? Do we feel empowered? Are we being true to ourselves? This one is a real identity. Look in the mirror. What are you trying to do here? What do you want to say? Are you being real to yourself? And that, it just keeps it real. Yeah. And if you're avoiding things like that, it has a lot to do with manifesting in a huge way. If you think about it, if you're manifesting what you want for yourself and your true self, if that's not in alignment, how could it possibly work? 
I mean, it made perfect sense to me when I was looking at it. And I went, of course. So they gave me a visual that I will share when we come back because I have one more email and then I'm going to just share this visual and we're going to really dive in to everything going on with this third chakra manifesting and angel messages that it can help us with that. They are all about supporting you, your choices, but we have to make decisions. They don't decide for us. But boy, they are making their point known. They are here. They're very much ready to help humanity go to another level, a higher frequency, live a happy life, the whole thing. There's a lot there. It's very positive. What are you focusing on? If Because, you know, people are going through things. I know that. But that's what I want to show you, how you can look at things from a fifth dimension perspective, a different perspective that will really kickstart manifesting from here moving forward. It's very good stuff. I mean, I'm applying it. I got so excited about it and I went, you know, I got to share this because I'm right in the pocket with you guys. I'm working this too. Absolutely. Because it has been changing. You know, what, what used to work you know, is fading and we've got to find new ways. I felt so inspired by this. So that's what we're going to be doing. Now, we're going to take a short break here. Uh, When we come back, we're going to keep going. Yay, our feeds look good. So we're going to keep going. Yay. And we're going to power on. So don't forget, if you have a question, you want to call in, ask for something with the angels, 1-800-930-2819. We're talking all about the third chakra, how it's important in your manifesting skills, and how you can find out if there's an imbalance there, and how you can balance that out and let it support you the way it's intended. That's what it's all about today. I'm Dr. Jen. You're listening or watching our live video stream of The Jen Royster Show, and we will be right back after the break. Live your purpose equals joy. That's the motto of Unstuck Joy with Vicki Todd. Vicki believes you were born with gifts that are meant to make the world brighter. Each show will feature an art visioning journal prompt to help you create your way to soul clarity. If you're ready to get unstuck and create more joy, this show is for you. Tune in the first and third Tuesday at 3 p.m. Pacific on Transformation Talk Radio. For more information, visit VickiWorldArt.com. Interested in deepening your spiritual practice? The School for Esoteric Studies offers online training to spiritual seekers from all paths of life and individual coaching. Our courses synthesize Eastern and Western spiritual traditions based on meditation, study, and service applied to everyday life. To learn more about our courses and services, please visit www.esotericstudies.net. What is a brilliant culture, and how do we create them? Why are they important? Claudette Rowley has created a breakthrough five-step process to help you align your culture with your business strategy for exceptional results. Looking for a culture that drives organizational excellence? Listen to Cultural Brilliance Radio, the second and fourth Friday of each month at 10 a.m. Pacific and 1 p.m. Eastern on Transformation Talk Radio. To learn more or work with Claudette, visit culturalbrilliance.com. Tune in to The Jen Royster Show, intuitive guidance to inspire your life, each Thursday at 8 a.m. Pacific and 11 a.m. Eastern on TransformationTalkRadio.com. This amazing show is an inspirational hour that will take you on an epic metaphysical journey to discover the spiritual approach to life's greatest challenges. Dr. Jen is an internationally known intuitive counselor, spiritual teacher, and energy healer. Call in for intuitive readings and visit JenRoyster.com for more information. Did you know that all of the shows on the Transformation Radio Network are available as podcasts to stream or download? Really? Check us out. Go to TransformationRadio.fm. We have business shows, spiritual shows, energy healing shows, and pretty much everything in between. Something for everyone guaranteed to inspire, 
educate, and transform. We are transforming the world one listener at a time. To see your life from an angel's perspective, book a personal consultation with Claire Candy Hoff, angelic walk-in angel Ariel at Angel Healing House. Candy provides intuitive counseling, Reiki, and angel readings in person in Los Angeles or nationally and internationally via phone or Skype. She will channel the practical tools you need to transform your life. Call now, 831-277-3716 or visit angelhealinghouse.com. And welcome back to the show. If you're just tuning in, you haven't missed anything. The first first couple of minutes of this one was interesting, just letting technology catch up with the energy we have going on here. So I want to say hi to everyone. Hello to the chat over at YouTube. I see Candace over there. It's great to see you there. Thank you. We have it over on Facebook, too, on the Facebook Live, on Transformations um, Talk Radio's uh, Facebook page. And we're live streaming everywhere. It's on my website if you're trying to figure out how to tune into that. Some people are listening audio. That's perfect, too. We're talking about Archangel Uriel and how um, this beautiful angel brought in some great insight about the third chakra and manifesting. Before we get to that, I want to read one more from the email bag, and this has a, has to do with a question, really intense stuff here. And what I want to say to you that sent this question in, this is from Beth. I want you to know this entire show is going to help you with the answer to this. That's why I'm reading it first, because the whole show is going to be an answer to this one. Um, and I found that really, really divine timing for you in particular. So this is from Beth and Beth is asking, hi, Dr. Jen, I have been involved for the last 10 months with a man who at best has chaotic energy and is not for my greatest good. Ooh, my problem is I have allowed him to stay in my home temporarily, but when I have asked him to leave over the past four months, he doesn't leave. We are no longer romantically connected, and I have connected with a man who I feel is Mr. Right. Will the chaotic man leave me alone so I can put all of my positive energy into my new guy? How can I ensure he will stay out of my life? I'm at desperation. I deserve true happiness. Please ask the angels if they have info to tell me. Thank you, and God bless. Thank you, Beth. Wow, Beth, I I hear you, and you definitely are in a place where today's show is going to help you a lot because it's all about your power. Who's got your power? You or what she describes as the chaotic man that she wants to leave her home. So this is all about third chakra. So with that, please listen to this whole thing today because it's the answer to that question. That's one very good example of what's happening with third chakra that can get in the way. She wants to manifest a positive life. Where, where's the balance here? It's imbalanced if it feels that we cannot move it forward. So this is going to be very helpful for you. And please know that. So let's go into a couple of things, third chakra and why why it's not working with manifesting. And then we go into how we can fix that, how we can balance that, what to expect with this angel, Archangel Uriel. So I have my list of notes here. First of all, third chakra, very much about manifesting. Why? Why is it? Because it's your power center, okay? Like I said, this is your personal power. If you've given your personal power away to someone else and that other person in your belief, because that's also third chakra, you believe the other person or you can't, you can't make a choice. You can't make a decision. That's someone else has power over you. That is a very debilitating feeling. You feel like you're helpless. You feel like, wait a minute. 
I don't feel confident. I don't know how to, you know, you just feel stuck. Okay. Uriel, Archangel Uriel gave me this vision that I want to share with you that was so powerful. At first I was a little bit alarmed, but then I realized, oh, wow, that is exactly what you mean by this. Because some people, you know, some of, if you looked at dream analysis on this, sometimes it looks like, oh, that's not a very good message. That wasn't what this was. This was a vision. And what happened was I'm in a vehicle and I'm driving down a road that we drive down all the time. It turns into a wet dirt road with a lot of weather and rain, turns into mud, turns into, wait a minute, let me turn around. And then immediately the vehicle with me in it is sinking like quicksand into this, like buried. I'm in the car. I'm under this. Okay. And you're, what's your first thought? There's nothing I can do. Right. This was the visual, this was the visual that Uriel gave me to help me explain this today. This was for all of us, okay? So that's like you're being trapped in the quicksand. You're stuck in the mud kind of thing. What is it that you believe about that scenario as soon as I describe it to you? That there's nothing you can do. You're not going to be able to get out of the car. You're not going to be able to do anything. That's fear. That's third dimensional thinking. Now, how do you approach something like that with fifth dimensional thinking? There's nothing that's impossible. There's always a solution to every problem. And instead of just sitting there crying, sobbing, waiting to die, you start crawling out. You start digging out. You find a way. You don't give up. You don't give up. Now, that's how a lot of our lives feel when we're going through a challenge. That's how we feel when things are just overwhelming. We don't feel like we have control. That's a very third chakra example of imbalance that needs balancing. So how does Archangel Uriel fit into this? First of all, he's perfect for manifesting. Why? He's a transformative. He's very much transformative in his energy. I say he. Some people feel this angel as a she. Remember, they're genderless. It doesn't matter. I don't know. It just always comes through that way for me. So that's why I'm referring that way. The angel's name means fire of God. Fire is an element that transmutes something. Fire takes something in a physical form. It takes matter and transfer, it transforms it into energy or fuel. You see? You see how this could help you with third chakra, third solar plexus? Uh, it's very powerful. This angel is associated with the sunlight, uh, illumination, shedding light on a situation to help you solve it. It's an inspirational angel. It's a motivating angel. Very much. I mean, wow. When I started really listening to what this beautiful angel was sharing, it was inspirational to me. I went, oh my gosh, people need to hear this. This is good stuff because this is a manifesting year. We're ready to move to something new. A lot of you are feeling that. You're feeling a tug and a pull that something's got to give, something's got to change. For Beth and her question, she wants that to change. Take your power back, Beth. Take your power back. How can you take your power back? Ask specifically the angels, what can I do to take my power back here? This is my home. This is my space. There's a lot of things you could be doing with that, and and that's what she's asking, right? So I'm sharing this because we all feel that way somehow, some way, and sometimes when you feel hopeless, you can't see the forest for the trees. You're stuck in the mud. You can't see through the mud. You just feel trapped. You don't have to be trapped. You don't have to be trapped. The first thing you do is you take your power back. And it's kind of a self-motivating, 
self-discipline type of energy that the third chakra needs and something like that. And we all have that ability. You might not think you do, but you do. There's a lot to it. Um, I have a lot to share about this one because it is fascinating to me. Um, it, in manifesting, we have these dreams and we want, maybe we want something pretty big and it means untangling, untying, disconnecting quite a bit that's in your current state. And then it's like, oh, that's going to be too hard. That's you copping out on your own dream. Okay. You don't want to cop out on your own dream. You want to find a way around the rock, right? You want to find a way. There is a way. Um, independence is associated with the third chakra. You want to feel free. You don't want to feel trapped. See the differences there? The way this can affect you physically is your digestive system will be a mess. I mean, just, what does that mean? You're not processing. You're not digesting life. You're not accepting something. Um, you're not processing it through. Um, it causes a lot of IBS. It causes all kinds of things for people digestive wise. If you're having a lot of digestion, digestion issues or stress is affecting the digest, that is third chakra. Any way you look at it, that's third chakra. Fifth dimensional thinking finds a way past that obstacle. Just like I was talking about with the mud, okay? That doesn't have, you know, what's the first thing you do? Oh, you see the worst case scenario? Or do you see, oh, well, let's find a solution to this. That's where we're all trying to sort that out and get used to a brand new way of thinking. The new earth, manifesting in new earth, fifth dimension, very much different perspective from third. We don't go straight to the, what's wrong with this problem? What, what's wrong here? We don't go there. We immediately find a solution or we go and we put our energy into that. That's transmuting the situation and redirecting for manifesting what you do want, not what you don't want. Think about that for a bit. We're going to take a short break. When we come back, we're going to keep going because there's a lot of really good things here with Archangel Uriel, the messages that he has for manifesting today to change your life for the better. Stay with us. I'm Dr. Jen. You're listening to The Jen Royster Show. We'll be right back. Are you traveling most of your day? Do you want to take Transformation Talk Radio with you anywhere you go? Well, guess what? There's an app for that. Just go to the App Store on your Apple device or the Google Play Store on your Android and search Transformation Talk Radio. Catch all of our live shows no matter where you are. Thanks for listening. Tune in to The Truth is Funny with Colette Stephan each Wednesday at 8 a.m. Pacific, 11 a.m. Eastern on TransformationTalkRadio.com. This hit show will have you thinking outside the box and riding the wave of infinite potential. Join Colette on the Higher Self Network, inspiring listeners to shine their brilliance and ensure success while roaring with laughter as they recognize the humor of the giant cosmic joke. Visit TheTruthIsFunny.com. Tune in to The Jen Royster Show, intuitive guidance to inspire your life, each Thursday at 8 a.m. Pacific and 11 a.m. Eastern on TransformationTalkRadio.com. This amazing show is an inspirational hour that will take you on an epic metaphysical journey to discover the spiritual approach to life's greatest challenges. Dr. Jen is an internationally known intuitive counselor, spiritual teacher, and energy healer. Call in for intuitive readings and visit JenRoyster.com for more information. Introducing the Lucid Planet, a digital gathering place featuring cutting-edge, high-vibrational content that will empower and inspire you to become the greatest version of yourself. Visit the Lucid Planet today to stimulate your mind, body, and soul as you connect with a global community of like-minded people. 
The Lucid Planet is edited by renowned psychologist and author, Dr. Kelly Neff, who is here to help you cope with anxiety, connect to your higher purpose, uncover your true passions, and live your dreams. Dr. Kelly's fresh, compassionate perspective emphasizes growth, transformation, healing, and thriving. Even in the face of adversity, say goodbye to bad news and low vibrational media for good and become part of the larger collective of people working together to navigate the global shift of consciousness and transform the world from within. Join the planet, the Lucid Planet. Visit thelucidplanet.com. Welcome home. Are you searching? 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 Looking for a sign? A message you need to hear? From the great unknown? From the most mysterious place that is the most familiar to your soul in the depths of who you are. The universe puts someone here to talk to, someone God gave a blessing to that you may find insight with. TheAngelLady.net, 
being obsessed and draining all your energy on all these little things, little things, little things, all this little nitnoid stuff that, and you're just spinning your wheels, you're completely missing the fifth dimension, higher frequency, bigger picture. Spirit helps you see a bigger picture. The bigger picture, and you see it that way laid out, it has a completely different perspective than all the way down to those little details that are just holding you up and you're not getting anywhere going in circles. Big stuff there. Now, why does, how can Uriel help you with this? First of all, if you feel that you resonated with some of the things that I mentioned, Definitely look into a balancing of your third chakra. Ultimately, we want all of the chakras balanced and, you know, uh, resonating at about the same. That, that feels like a balanced harmony within the body. But, you know, sometimes we have one that's just way out of whack and it's not feeling right. And if you're feeling quite a bit of these things or physically with digestion or even respiratory, a lot with the lungs and just panic, anxiety, you know, that was also in the fifth chakra as well. And sometimes, you know, it'll be more than one chakra, but this one in particular, you, you got to know that you have your power and you can trust it. That's big deal. So you're looking to balance that. First of all, one of the things that I do is I always ask Michael to clear away the negatives and the toxic or help me detach the draining energies. That can be very powerful for any of the chakras that causing problems. Uh, for example, if you feel like somebody else is controlled, uh, controlling you, you want to cut that cord. Okay, this could be someone that's a, a family member or someone very close that you're going to be around on a regular basis but they don't have to control you or drain you like that, but you have to be aware of it. You can, can, you can cut that. Then you want your protective shield. That's what Michael's all about. Uriel comes in, shines a light. Whoa, this is going to illuminate the problem so you can find a solution or a way out of this. You see, it's like shining that light in the dark that you can't, you just can't see past anything. You just, that's it. You know, if you just feel limited, limited thinking is big deal here. Um, Uriel will move, move you in that direction. Um, he will help you listen to your inner wisdom because he's shining a light and illuminating a situation so you can see further out. You can see a different insight. Your inner wisdom, you want to trust that. Gosh, you want to trust that. You absolutely want to trust that. Well, what if you don't? You keep, you keep thinking, well, let me ask. Let me double check. I don't know. This is what I think. And, and then if you just don't respect your own personal opinion or you don't give it any value or uh, trust it, you need to you need to look into that because that's going to hold you up. I mean, I don't know how it couldn't, honestly. That's the way it that's the way it plays out, you know, for me. It's when I look at that, I'm seeing how can you feel like you're moving and going forward because people get so frustrated and you're trying to control the outcome to go a certain way. Watch out for that too because when you try to make it go a certain way, now you're cutting off the ability for the, because the angels are going to just support what you want. But if you do that, how can they show you a, another perspective you may have missed? Uriel can illuminate that, show you, hey, you know, did you ever think about looking at it from this angle? And then when you give that an opportunity and explore it, which more than likely it's probably an insight that came from you from within before. And maybe you just discounted it. Maybe you just said, nah, maybe not. It's not like that. It's not like that at all. You have, every one of us has this ability. Every one of us has this guidance that comes from within us. That's what you want to trust more than anything. If you don't trust that, then, then you're trusting somebody else. As soon as that happens, 
you're giving the power to somebody else because you trust their opinion more than your own. That's how you lose your power. Or if they have a pushy personality or they seem a bit dominant, are you sticking up for yourself, defending yourself? Are you defending your space? You can put your boundaries up. Watch out for the boundaries. Do you have boundaries? Are the boundaries broken down and people are just stampeding right over you? Whoa, I know. These are important things to think about because this is all third chakra. Now, third chakra also, when you stand firm in your strength and your power, you're going to be creative. You're going to be proactive in, you're going to be assertive and confident. You're going to actually start doing something that you're going to, you're, you're going to start doing things that help manifest what you're bringing into your life, what you want. If you're not, and you, you're like timid, there's that problem again, you see? So see what I mean about how important the third chakra is? It's huge. I mean, and I am very much appreciative that Archangel Uriel came through. He came through twice. I mean, came through the first time I'm looking at that going, yeah, that that actually sounds like it makes sense. And then I asked again and validated and no joke, came right back through and said, this is the one you want to be working with. And I went, you know what? That's fantastic. So where in your life do you feel you can only see one opinion or one way of believing because that's another one. We talked about beliefs, opinions. That's huge. Where do you feel like you can't see past one way of looking at something? Maybe it's time to look at it from a different perspective. Wow. Think about that while we're on break for a moment. I'm Dr. Jen. You're listening or watching our video live stream of The Jen Royster Show, and we will be right back after the break. Are you looking for the perfect setting for your next workshop or retreat? At Spirit Fire Meditative Retreat Center, cultivating consciousness is what we do best. Our guests count on us to create an atmosphere that supports serenity and well-being. We lead from the heart and create space for the mind. Freshly prepared meals designed with local and organic ingredients, 95 acres of beautiful woods and pastures, and a facility built with green in mind. This is what you'll find at Spirit Fire. For more information, visit SpiritFireRetreatCenter.com. High frequency healing for an amazing life with Source Light Radio. Join host Laura Barton each month on Transformation Talk Radio as she explores Source Light Integration, a unique spectrum of energy, light, and frequency. Experience instantaneous healing and amazing shifts in consciousness with Source Light Integrations Radio. For more information on Laura and her work, visit SourceLightIntegrations.com. Thrive is what we experience when our mind, body, and soul operate as one. When we thrive, we excel on all levels. Thrive is the mindset that matters. It is essential to our being. Have you ever found yourself looking for the instruction manual on how to thrive? You'll find everything you need to help you feel strong, powerful, and peaceful in your own body. So don't waste any more time. Visit thrivebygen.com today. Tune in to The Jen Royster Show, intuitive guidance to inspire your life, each Thursday at 8 a.m. Pacific and 11 a.m. Eastern on TransformationTalkRadio.com. This amazing show is an inspirational hour that will take you on an epic metaphysical journey to discover the spiritual approach to life's greatest challenges. Dr. Jen is an internationally known intuitive counselor, spiritual teacher, and energy healer. Call in for intuitive readings and visit JenRoyster.com for more information. To see your life from an angel's perspective, book a personal consultation with Claire Candy Hoff, angelic walk-in angel Ariel at Angel Healing House. Candy provides intuitive counseling, Reiki, and angel readings in person in Los Angeles or nationally and internationally via phone or Skype. She will channel the practical tools you need to transform your life. Call now, 831-277-3716 or visit angelhealinghouse.com. 
Tune in to Mainstream Metaphysics Radio to harness your connection with the universe to effect change for optimal success and happiness. Name one of the country's top psychics. Eve now brings her insights and gifts to this weekly hit call-in show, joined by visionaries, leaders, and gifted others, but mostly you. Jot it down. Thursdays, 10 a.m. Pacific, 1 p.m. Eastern on TransformationTalkRadio.com. And welcome back to the last segment. Boy, time flies when you just, I just love giving messages like this because there's a lot of inspiration and there is a way out of whatever you feel stuck in in life. You can do this. Now, one of the things that heads up Beth from the email, you know, and anybody else that just feels like they can't get things to change in relationships, when your third chakra is balanced, Relationships are harmonious. See, they are harmonious. There is no conflict. It will naturally fade out. So when you detach from the energies that are affecting you so much and do those clearings, you may have to do them on a regular basis when you're going through a bigger challenge. But do them. If you have to do it every day, if you have to do it two times a day, sometimes things are that big where you just have to keep doing it a few times and then it just starts to get easier. Because once we detach and we stop focusing there, the universe hears that, responds because we're putting our focus and shift all our energy elsewhere. Take that energy and your power back. When you cut that cord, you are bringing your power back to you. Uriel shines light on that. Also, wonderful angel, because this angel is so illuminating on what you need to see or be aware of to see things from a different perspective. It's overcoming challenges. He can help you with overcoming those challenges, the big ones, uh, the frustrations, changing that and transmuting that with that fiery element this angel carries. Um, You know, literally take the biggest things in your life that just feel like such a disappointment and turn them in to the greatest things that have ever happened to you. He, he's, it's like he's teaching you how to think higher frequency, how to think in a different way how to take that focus and shift it. So it's a beautiful angel to work with. If you feel like the third chakra is an issue for you, you want to work on balancing that and bringing your power back to you and trusting that, close your eyes and just think of Archangel Uriel and just allow whatever visual comes to you. One of the easiest ways, because this is the fire of God also associated with the sun, think of a beautiful, bright, sunny day and the color of the sun. Think of the sunshine, how that lifts your spirits, how it feels good. It's warm. Feel that energy. Just resonate with the energy of the sun. You will resonate with the energy of Archangel Uriel. And then ask, ask to help you see the truth of what you need to see in a situation. Ask for the illumination and where you can make some choices. They won't do it for you and they won't tell you how to think. It's very important that you think for yourself, but you want to bring that confidence back in. You want to trust yourself. Biggest thing I see is how, you know, people just um, don't, they feel manipulated. They feel They feel they can't trust anything. They've been convinced that they can't trust their own choices. Time for that to stop. Moving into a new earth is not about that. And that's the way of the old, as far as I can tell. Energetically, metaphysically, your physical body will appreciate it because that's your vehicle you're living in. And when you feel the freedom and the detachment from all these things that are just causing this havoc, the body will settle down. It, How could it not? It just settles down. 
I have personally, and I'm vouching with my own personal history, I have been through that with the third chakra. Oh my goodness, boy, have I been through that. And I can really vouch that this is true with this. Once it goes away, you're going to see things completely different. There's a freedom. There's no, there's no anger. There's no con- trying to control anything. It isn't like that at all. There's just, there's no need for any of it. That is the most freeing thing you can do. It simplifies life. You just don't feel like you've got to, you know, jump through all these hoops and push and force anything. There's no forcing. When we're resonating and floating and riding that wave of energy in flow with it for so instead of against it, because when we're trying to make something happen, we're actually going against the flow of energy. You want to use this to transition into whatever it is you want for your life. And you're going to have to put some assertion into it. You're going to have to practice. At first, you'll feel awkward if you've never done this before. But if you just do a little bit each day, you're going to see what I'm talking about. And then you're going to start to see the things that are coming into your life. Your reality changes when you change the perspective. This angel can help illuminate and show you some wonderful things that you've been missing the whole time. This angel can show you some beautiful things about you and why you decided to be here at this time. This angel can light it up so you can make some choices clearly. So Archangel Uriel is a wonderful angel to work with when you feel like you're losing control of your life. You feel like you don't have any say-so. You feel like nothing ever works out for you. That's just beating yourself up, Mm-mm. this angel, let this angel help you. Um, I hope that this has been inspirational to all of you that have listened today. I hope that you will find a way to feel motivated to make the changes in your life that you want and you long for. It's time to stop focusing on all the things that are going on that you don't want In order to make that fade away, we have to shift that focus. It may require you detaching in some way, cutting those cords. Once you cut that cord, don't forget to seal up your boundaries, okay? Visualize that, that you have boundaries around you after you cut those cords. Cut the things that are toxic to you in your life. Then they will fade out because there's no energy being focused that way. It's really weird, I know, for a lot of you that are so used to the way the world has always worked or this is brand new thinking to you. It's like, how can you just forget about what somebody blah, blah is doing to you or what's happening out there? I don't personally want to give it any more energy. I realized when I went through a lot of this transition, that is what you got to stop doing is giving them the energy. Don't do it anymore. Don't don't give what you don't want energy, basically. There's something going on. You might need to look at your belief system. Is it time for an update? Is it time to see things from a different perspective? All these things are third chakra. It's also associated with the color yellow. And remember, the fire element transmutes anything physical into energy. So... And I'm not saying go light fire to something, literally. I'm not saying do that, okay? Disclosure, please, guys, don't twist my words. But just know that when you visualize, I want, I want this to change. I want to transmute this into something that's beneficial and will lift me higher and let my soul shine. Let me come here and do what I came here to do and you're free to do it. That's everything I'm talking about here today. So please know it's possible, but you have to choose it. Um, A lot of people want those angel messages and they want to know what they have to say. It's been changing a lot. And I really want you guys to hear me on that. I'm focusing on helping you connect with angels and feel confident with what you receive. I can validate things, uh, but I want you to know that there is 
opportunity here for you to make those connections too. I want to say thank you for listening. I'm out of time. I have someone at my door. (laughs) I just heard it. (laughs) Anyway, thanks, guys. We'll see you next time here on The Jen Royster Show. Namaste. You've been listening to The Jen Royster Show, intuitive guidance to inspire your life. Remember to tune in each Thursday at 8 a.m. Pacific and 11 a.m. Eastern Time on TransformationTalkRadio.com. Dr. Jen Royster is an internationally known intuitive counselor, spiritual teacher, and energy healer. Imagine having the ability to use your innate positive energy to dissolve the stuckness in your life, whether it's emotional, physical, or spiritual, through this incredible dynamic show. If you've missed any part of this show or any other show, Visit www.jenroyster.com and transformationtalkradio.com.